Good morning, everyone. Week two of the American Discovery Tour. Uh, it's a bus. <laughs> Week two of the American Discovery Tour coming at you from, watch this. New York City. Uh, technically, technically I'm over here in Jersey today, um, at least for the morning. Stay with a friend, uh, Davina. Davina, thank you so much for letting us stay with you over the next couple days. Got up uh, earlier than I wanted to, earlier than I probably should have, but just as early as I needed to to catch the sunrise. And to be able to sit here on a bench and, and watch the sun come up over the city was absolutely beautiful. Met some cool people this morning. Um, really excited to get to jump into the city. It's the first time that I'll have walked around it since, I mean, since before 9-11 happened. Uh, so it's been, I was somewhere around this size. Vehicles? Vehicles are so loud. Um, but yeah, excited to get into the city a little bit, check some things out, explore, maybe snap a few photos. One in particular, Tannen's Magic Shop. I said before on like, first episode I'm a, I'm a magician so I've never been there and I'm kind of excited to uh, have that experience and kind of walk through those doors and see see a place that I've seen on uh, on a screen so many times excited for that and just to see what else I get into but I think I should go back get everybody else up and I don't know get at it a little more. Well, let's go. Hey everyone, Donovan from the future here. Uh, unfortunately, the audio for this set of clips that you were getting ready to watch was corrupted and I don't know what happened, but when I came back to my computer, nothing was there. Basically at this time, we were at the Chipped Cup Coffee Shop. A really cool uh, little place. Baristas were am absolutely amazing. And coffee was pretty good too. Uh, it was a really homey vibe, as you might have just saw. I also wanted to talk to you about something that our friend Davina had said to us. We had a conversation with her about what it was like moving from a small town to some place as big as New York City all on her own. And she said at first it was a really scary experience. I mean, especially since after she got a job and moved there, one of her jobs laid her off within like a month. And she had to work and find a new job that would allow her to maintain this new life that she had just built for herself. She had thoughts of going back, but she ended up sticking with it. 
she found another job and continued working and has now lived in the city for multiple, multiple years. And her big takeaway from that experience was sometimes the net doesn't appear until after you've already jumped. But what that meant to me was you don't really need every single safety net set up for you before you take on that next big task in your life. I mean, don't get me wrong, you might want to have a fallback. I mean, I have an idea of what I would do if for some reason this tour has to take a stop, if something happens and somebody gets sick or something happens and I have to go home. But at the same time, you're probably way more resourceful than you think you are or than you give yourself credit for. I mean, you might move to a new city. You might start a new job. You might start a vlog and the rug gets pulled out from under you. The city's not what you expect. The job disappears or your audio corrupts. But that doesn't mean you quit. You get out there, you find another job, you, you fulfill your lease or you get out of your lease and you get a new place. You come back and retroactively refilm the segment that you missed. And hopefully you learn from that. Uh, like for me, I mean, I'm gonna check my audio more often. There's a really nice quote from, and I might butcher this name, uh, Jaime Escalante. I'll put it, uh, put it here just in case. But he says, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. It matters about how many times you stand back up. So know that you're resilient, you're resourceful, and you can try new things, and you can take on a new challenge, and even if things seem to crash or seem to not go the way you expect, you can still keep trying and keep working and still build something new for yourself. Well, I think that pretty much catches us up. I'm gonna send you back to past Donovan and uh, there's a cat in the next clip, so go watch that. Good morning, it is Sunday. We are almost out of New York. We crashed in a hotel last night, um, probably about two hours from our next stop. So let me give you a little recap on what happened since last we talked. One thing we did was we were able to help out with a community effort called Joy J. And uh, basically it's just this group that wants to share love with people who are less fortunate. What we ended up doing was we were putting together care packages for homeless people. These care packages were full of things like toiletries, snacks, clothing, uh, and most importantly, they had a piece of paper that had a whole bunch of information on anything from how they could get COVID testing to where the shelters were or where the soup kitchens were or where they could go to get more assistance. And then we went out and gave these care packages away. Uh, here, I've got some, some footage from there. I'll show you right now.
Joy J. That was that was such a great uh, great experience to be able to, while being on the American Discovery tour, be able to take some time and and help some people. And we really hope to continue to do service projects like that through the rest of the tour. Um, but yeah, that was it was really great. Davina, thank you for uh, bringing us along for that experience. Also, got to go to probably the most magical place in New York City, Tannen's Magic, uh, a place that I've seen on a screen so many times, and it was so great to be able to actually walk through those doors and have that experience for myself. Really glad I was able to catch that while I was here in New York. And then we were able to say our goodbyes and make our way towards Colchester, uh, Vermont. We ended up stopping back through Troy, a uh, town we were in on like, Monday or Tuesday, and uh, we actually had had pizza there, and it was just ridiculously good. So we needed dinner anyway, so we swung through, got pizza again, and I think that pretty much catches you up. So we are continuing going towards Vermont today. Uh, if you are here at this point in the video, please do me a favor. Give me a, a thumbs up, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you're enjoying this and you want to see more uh, about the American Discovery Tour and kind of uh, a little more behind the scenes of what is actually happening on the, on the weekly at least. Um, and uh, leave me a comment, again, something that you enjoyed doing in New York or something that I should do while I'm in Vermont this week. So it's Sunday for me right now, and I'm gonna probably try to get this uploaded on Tuesday or Wednesday. So it just depends on how busy the schedule is. Uh, I wanna say thank you again for listening. Thank you, Davina, for opening your home to us. And thank you for following along with the American Discovery Tour. But yeah, excited to get into the city today, check it out. Uh, it's been the first... It was a busy street to do this. It is Sunday, and uh, we're almost out of the way. And, uh, also, uh, I'm so tired. I am not awake yet. <laughs> I've gone down, I've woken up, gone down, eaten food, came back, and I'm still not awake. Okay. New York City, um, as a magician, I've seen this place. I need to stop looking away. I need to stop looking away. Why do you keep looking away? Why do you keep looking away from the camera?